Hey, this is Colonel Lee. You've tuned in to Life with Colonel Lee. And we're looking at another tent, Big Agnes Mountain Sheep 2. This is not a backpacking tent by all means. It's almost seven pounds. But what you're getting is a robust tent with uh, Raleigh dog hair flying in my face. So what you're getting is a robust tent that can uh, pretty much withstand pretty much any kind of weather that Mother Nature is going to deal out to you. So let's take a look at the Big Agnes Mountain Sheep 2. Six point six four pounds. Twenty five inches. By eight inches. Let's take a look at the Big Agnes Mountain Sheep 2 without the rain fly. So you have three aluminum pole sections. You have the two long ones, the traditional cross. Then you have a ridge pole. Goes over the top. Extends the headroom kind of makes for a vertical wall so we have two doors and we have color-coded webbing so we have gray on this side and we have the maroon here on this side so the poles are the same I guess it's just gonna have to do with the rain fly itself <clears throat> Here's a look at the Big Agnes Mountain Sheep 2 with the rain fly. So it's kind of a gray and maroon color. So you have four guy out points. And uh, this is a reflective webbing. The guy lines have reflective material in them as well. And then along here with the buckles, there's a reflective material there on the webbing and you have these little uh, where you can pull out the ring fly on the sides here to increase ventilation so two doors two vestibules and you have two roof vents one on both sides good size vent there Now here's the Big Agnes Mountain Sheep 2 <clears throat> with the uh, vestibule open. Or you can just have it all open like I do right here. It is uh, very robust. It's a two person tent. As you saw, I weighed it. It's close to seven pounds, so it's not a backpacking tent. <clears throat> the pole sections are kind of long, so it doesn't really pack down, you know, very small. This is mainly a car camping tent, but <clears throat> one of the things about it, it's heavy duty. So just even the zippers alone, so you have number 10 YKK zippers, very large, robust zippers. My thumb is... Almost the size of my thumbnail there. That's pretty good size. 
and it doesn't have a continuous flow zip you know you have this old kind of old style I call it zips across and then zips up like that <clears throat> So as with most tents these days, you get a bathtub style floor. So it just means the bottom part of the fabric, which is waterproof, goes up a little, you know, four to five inches. So this one has a double stitched heat tape seam. Seal out the water moisture. And then the corners there, you have extra material double stitch and then it's a uh, tape sealed so you have a lot of pockets with this tent there's one two and then you get a third one there a fourth one there so you have eight pockets all together <clears throat> there's our roof vent you do have some tabs here and there's one here at the center for your lantern it did not come with a gear loft. This tent did not come with a gear loft. <clears throat> but you got plenty of pockets, that's for sure. All right, so the door is, uh, <clears throat> most of it is the material. And then uh, you have the mesh panel towards the top here. And it's the same thing with the other door. <clears throat> Yeah, so there's plenty of headroom in this tent. And there's uh, plenty of width room. <clears throat> I'm gonna lay down here in the center. Plenty of length as well. <clears throat> really? There's probably plenty of, plenty of room in here for her too, but. <laughs> All right, so feet aren't touching, my head's not touching. I have plenty of width space here. So the doors, they don't zip open all the way. So just to the peak of the tent here, <clears throat> and then all the way over to the side. So you have all this that's still attached. But they give you this little uh, strip of material here. So you just take the this corner here and just stick it through there. Or right there I am. And just pull it through. So now it's kind of tucked out of the way. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the vestibule here. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I wear size 12 shoes. So this is kind of helping to reference and then we're going to measure as well. <clears throat> so, it's a pretty sized vestibule. And you get two of them, they're exactly the same size. All right, let's get some measurements. So, we're at 50 inches wide, 90 inches in length. 43 inches all right so it is 30 inches I'm gonna show you something cool about these pockets what I like about these pockets so this one here you could easily put a light <clears throat> source in here you know just have it facing that way the light and then this material would kind of diffuse the light, give a nice glow in the tent, or you can just hang it on the loop up there. But let me turn you around here. Okay, so here, I'm gonna put you in the pocket here. Here we go. So this is what I've done before in this tent, <clears throat> is I have a movie on my phone, and I can just lay here and Put that phone in that pocket and watch my movie. It's pretty cool.
waiting for my dog to quit hacking over there. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat grass. Are you done, Nero? Are you done? Yeah, are you done? Can I do my video now? <laughs> hey, this is kind of... See there? <laughs> you got me messed up, Riley. Give me all messed up, right, dog. <clears throat> hey, this is uh, Colonel Lee. You've turned into. You've turned into. No. You've tuned into life with Colonel Lee. All right, let's do that one more time. 